And new details in the mass shooting at Club Q in Colorado Springs could come at any moment. The El Paso County judge presiding over the case ordered the arrest affidavit be unsealed by the end of the day tomorrow. Prosecutors filed 305 criminal counts, including hate crimes and murder charges against the suspect. The alleged shooter is accused of entering the gay nightclub clad in body armor, opening fire with an AR-15 style rifle. 22-year-old Anderson Lee Aldrich sat upright in a chair during the hearing and appeared alert today. Five people were murdered at the club that night. 17 other victims were shot but are recovering. And an LGBTQ-owned business has surpassed its goal to help those victims. Our Connor McHugh live in Denver with that part of the story. Connor, just great to hear. Yeah, Jim, the outpouring of support for one fundraiser now has the creator taking steps to be more equitable and accountable moving forward. While not part of the original plan, she says it's necessary to make sure the victims get every penny they deserve. Hours after a shooter opened fire inside Club Q, Faith Haug was among many Coloradans looking to help. But that Sunday, she found no online fundraisers, so instead created her own. They had no idea it would become what it, what it did. Haug, who co-owns Good Judy Garage, a queer-owned auto shop, says the original goal was to raise $5,000. Now, two weeks later, more than $860,000 of donations have come in. It's not surprising. The community here is incredible, but it's also really amazing that it's gotten where it has. Now, Haug is joining forces with the National Compassion Fund, a nonprofit started by those impacted by the Aurora Theater shooting and other mass casualty events. Moving forward, a new steering committee will create protocols for giving out money. They'll then have public comment and meet with victims, too. It really makes a streamlined and clear process, um, and it's public. Haug's grassroots effort comes as other fundraisers, like the Colorado Healing Fund, are under scrutiny over transparency or not sharing all funds. She says her mission is to give every penny raised to those in need. It's literally money to their bank account or, you know, into their hands to use as they see fit. And really that's what it's about, is making sure that they get 100% of the funds that are donated and nobody's telling them how they have to use them. Now, Haug says they will start giving out money after they fundraise for several more weeks or months and also eventually create that criteria for who gets the money and how much. Uh, they will also be publicly posting on the National Compassion Fund's website updates on that criteria on the upcoming town hall and much more. Live in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First. All right, thanks for the update, Connor.